All right, so we used the Monport um, CO2 laser here, as you saw in the intro, and I tried some cardboard in it because I was curious. <clears throat> it, I mean, it handled cardboard like a champ. It even cut through that tape and the label fine. So you could make like stencils if you wanted, you know, come in here and spray paint. Or I wanted to try the living hinge in it. So there you go, man. That living hinge is great. Ah, oh, that is satisfying. You guys hear that? Isn't that great? So like, the sky's the limit with cardboard. You could cut stuff out and make like little dollhouses or something. I mean, it, it cuts wonderfully, as you can see there. I mean, you, you can't even really, you can smell it the tiniest bit, but I just punched through that corrugated cardboard like it was nothing. And you know, here's kind of the pieces for, for the stencil. But you can see where, like, if you wanted to make something here, let's see. I mean, really, you could even make a puzzle. Um, let's see, maybe that, no, that's too big. There we go. There we go. And then this is gonna be the Y. And we have the R, and we have the R, there's the A, the N, and the other part of the N. So like, you can make a puzzle for kids, and it's, it's cardboard, like, right? It's gonna be trash anyway, you might as well upcycle some stuff. But like I said, you can make a little dollhouse, castle, whatever, just cut stuff out, you can bring it in and glue it together. Um, you can make like a drawbridge or a suspension bridge or something with living hinges. Like you can literally do anything. I just realized most of that was probably out of the frame. I'm an idiot. You're welcome. Let me move this camera just a hair. I, I, I am so pleased by that. The living hinge works okay if you have a big enough piece of wood. I have another video about that with this laser and with a different laser. But the cardboard just lends itself perfectly to that. That is so fun. I have some other living hinges that I've never gotten to work with uh, with wood. I should try them with the cardboard. That, oh. Guys, do you hear that sound? But yeah, that was the Monport um, CO2 laser. Like, I might start just doing stuff with our cardboard because we get Amazon boxes and stuff from UPS FedEx. Like, I could do so many fun crafts with that, right? I will see you guys in the next video. Link to the laser in the description and in the stinky comment. There is a discount code down there. Use Ryan Mercer and you'll save a little bit of money if you decide to buy one of these. Uh, thanks for stopping by.